let's talk about what's going on right now. Palm Beach County is currently under a hurricane warning. This means that the hurricane conditions are expected somewhere within our area within the next 24 to 36 hours. Hey, I'm Chopper Terry and welcome to another adventure. So today, I was sitting around watching the news. The date today is uh, November 9th and uh, it's saying there's a very strong tropical storm heading our way. Uh, the name of it is Nicole, could possibly become a hurricane of category one. Now where I'm standing right now in this area, I grew up in this neighborhood. I've lived here my whole life since 1967 and I have yet to see the water be this high before. Now figure out this, this storm is still a few hundred miles away and it's king tide right now which means it's the highest tide of the year and a full moon and the winds are going to be 70 60 70 mile an hour is when it hits here right now it's only about i would say maybe 25 30 miles an hour and if you look down there from this king's tide normally the water should be all the way i'm going to go down here in the water you can see i'm walking in this water this this was somebody's grass and over here over there, if you look down on the water, that line is the seawall. So the water's flowed all the way up into this person's yard. And this is, this is salt water. This isn't rain water. Look at this. So today what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to go bike around the neighborhood. Don't anyone ever try this. I'm just doing it because the storm hasn't hit yet. The winds are only maybe 15, 20, maybe 30 mile an hour gusts. I'm gonna bike around and look for all the evidence of a very high tide and a very, very serious storm surge. So follow me along. I just really wanna show you all the storm surge. And remember, I grew up in this neighborhood right here and I've never seen the water this high before. So let's go check it out. So you all have to excuse me for the uh, droplets on the camera, but we are in the middle of a you know, lot of weather right now. If you look way over there, you can see just how high, looking across, right over there, the docks. I'm gonna go over there later and check out people's backyards, but you can see the water's all the way up to their property. And this storm hasn't even hit yet. And right here, it's pretty high along the seawall. It's only about 10 inches from going over and out into the road out there. So we're gonna go check out a different spot. Oh, check this out. That right there is somebody's dock. And look at that, it's underwater. This dock is underwater, look at this. Now, I can't imagine what it's gonna be like when this storm actually hits tonight with about 70 mile an hour winds and the storm surge comes in and the high tide's at 10 o'clock, that's when the storm's hitting. This could be maybe up to here. Hey, another example, if you can look, if you can look way over there and you look, there's somebody's pool and the water is right in line with that pool and it's about to flow over the wall. And, and look at that, look at that boat lift right there. This is, this water and over there too, it's only inches from going on to other, you know, houses and people's properties right now, especially on this side. So, like I said, I hate to repeat myself, but I can't imagine what this is gonna be like tonight with the King's Tide at 10 o'clock, the highest it's gonna be all year at this time of year and with the storm sir well i need my windshield wipers on my bike but uh it's kind of gnarly this uh wind and rain but i want to get some more footage so let's head over to where i grew up on the intercoastal my mom still lives there yeah the weather's getting a little worse here this is the house that i grew up in as a little kid and it's looking pretty rough right now. This is still, like I said, the storm's not here, but wow. I'm sorry about all the rain droplets on the camera, but look at this. Look at this seawall. Look at that. Just imagine when this storm comes in, and this is nothing yet. This is only the beginning. I'm gonna try to not go out during the storm, but hopefully get some footage today while it's still semi-safe to be safe and then i'm going to go to the beach today and then tomorrow the next day when the storm passes see what kind of damage was done so we're kind of on a tropical storm hurricane adventure with trapper terry all right take a look ah 
that's a pretty gnarly gust. The storm hasn't even hit us. So, as you can see, I, I keep saying the storm's 200 miles away that way. I'm gonna get out of the ocean and show you just how rough it is. So, let's follow me along. So, I'm not gonna talk too much out here because the wind's gonna just, you're not gonna hear me, but I'll show you what's going on. Just go out there and you can just drift right into the pier. Not a good idea. I can see a real bad squall coming off in the distance. It's going to hit soon. That looks like a feeder band. That's a bad one. So I'm going to just keep my camera on it. This is serious. Don't ever, uh, ever think to come out and surf in these conditions. If the winds go west, if the winds go west, and the storm passes us, it'll be easier to surf it. But right now, it's just victory at sea. Yeah, this is, this is hardcore.
see them right off in the distance. They're going right underneath the pier. This is very dangerous conditions. You don't ever want to be out in this. And this is still, like I've been saying, this isn't even the storm yet. Look at this wave coming. That's just all the water. That's just all the water from the storm surge. So what's actually going on is this storm's pushing straight in like this, and it's pushing all the water. And it's only gonna get worse at high tide later, it's gonna be bad. So I won't be here then, but this is still pretty gnarly. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. I think I've done enough. responders here. That's good, they're keeping an eye on everybody safe. Yeah, and as you can see right here, they're waiting near the pier. <laughs> that's, that's the real deal. Loud. Okay, so right now I got some guys here that are up at the beach. They're checking it out, and I'm gonna ask them what they think about this storm. So, are you nervous at all? No, and this is my first hurricane. All I just right. moved here from Virginia. What? Wow. I'm, yeah, I'm actually stoked. I want to see the power. I don't want anyone to get hurt, but I'm, I'm just want to see the power. I've heard all the stories. All right, all right. What, what about what about you over there? Sorry, sir. What's your name? Oh, Andrew. Andrew. Okay, yeah. great, great. Nice to meet you. I'm Trapper Terry on YouTube. Hey, man. Good to meet Trapper, you. I'll, yeah, I'll, check it out, I'll, Trapper I'll, Terry. I'll, uh, what do you think? Are you nervous at all? Nah, not nervous. At all. Okay. You guys, are you guys planning on going surfing or anything? Yeah, I just relaxed. I just warm out at all. Okay. Nice. Welcome. 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 Yeah, Friday will be good, West Winds. Yeah, this is beautiful. All right, hey, thanks for the information. You guys be safe, all right? All right, so as you can see, that's the eye wall forming right there. And that's going to move right over Jupiter. I'm pretty sure of it. It kind of looks like it right there. It's still out, it's still over here, but it's supposed to be somewhere around there and I believe that's gonna happen. Trapper Terry's prediction. There's the eye wall again. All right, so it is um, like around three o'clock and they haven't predicted where it's gonna go. They're kind of guessing, but as I can see at three o'clock, this eye wall is forming right there if you see it. It's just around the Bahamas. That's the eye wall forming and this is three o'clock. So Trapper Terry's prediction is, they're showing this, but listen to me carefully, watch this. This is pre before it hits. See the eye wall? It was green before, now it just formed on radar. Right there, that's the eye wall. It's gonna go straight over West Palm Beach. We're gonna get the, you know, maybe a little bit kind of rough winds, or it might go a little bit up, but I'm thinking it's gonna go right around in this area right there. Yeah, so we're gonna get the rough winds because the storm's kind of going this way as this eye wall is forming. And we're gonna get some rough winds and up here uh, around Hope Sound, Stewart, they're gonna have it pretty bad too. So there it is, there it's forming. Right there on radar, live radar, it's forming. That's the eye wall. A little while ago I watched it and it wasn't. That's getting red and it's forming. Yeah, it's good. All right, so it's getting worse. If you look way over there on that roof of that house, the wind is blowing, the trees are starting to blow, water's pouring. Um, it's, it's starting, it's getting closer. Um, I'm gonna keep filming, but um, 
We're on an adventure. <laughs> I'm under a nice little overhang right here, so that's okay. But um, look at those palm trees way over there. And right in the front. This storm is still a, like a couple hundred miles away. I think it's getting a little bit stronger. All right. So I just woke up and uh, this hurricane, because it did turn into a hurricane, Nicole, the eye of it went mainly north up to St. Lucie, but just the bottom of the eye of the storm, like I was predicting last night, a little bit of it went across Jupiter, kind of where I am right now, Jupiter, Juno. Um, it didn't do a lot of damage because I'm, I'm going to go out and look and see if it did, but the winds, because it was up here, were blowing this way because the bad part of the storm, when the storm's south, the north part, if you're up in St. Lucie and further up, that gets those winds right offshore that just push all the storm surge. We were getting winds that were coming kind of offshore, blowing out, so it's pushing the water out. So I don't think there's a lot of damage. And when I just woke up this morning, I don't see a lot of wind damage or anything. There's little debris on the ground, nothing big. So I'm gonna drive around now. I'm not gonna take the bike today. And I'm gonna see what kind of damage you got here. Well, pretty much no damage. I mean, other than leaves and palm tree branches laying around, I mean, and not even hardly any. Um, so all the parks are still closed, um, but the wind only seems like it's probably about 25 miles an hour right now. So I'm gonna keep looking. I don't really see much. There's a lady walking her dog. Just a regular old day out here in Juno Beach. I'm gonna go by the Juno Pier and just see how big the waves are. That's the one thing though, this, the winds are west right now, so the waves are pretty big. I'll go film that. So I'm heading right now to the Juno Pier, um, and there's some pretty big waves. Not a lot of, uh, not a lot of heavy wind really, but the waves are huge. Let me go film this out here for you. I'd say they're solid, I don't know, five to six foot, maybe bigger, but just a big storm surge as you can see over here. So the winds are west right now. I'd say southwest winds. And uh, there's a, maybe a little bigger than six foot, maybe six foot, eight foot swell. That's the uh, north side of the pier. And then we have the uh, south side of the pier looking about outside sets i'd say solid eight foot or bigger southwest winds there's a nice uh, left coming off the pier definitely i would say not surfable right now maybe by later this evening it'll be pretty good so as you can see right now uh, little or no damage southwest winds and just a big swell, just, just a mess left over of uh, surf and minor beach erosion, so. All right, follow me along. Surge I spoke about yesterday along the intercoastal, we got real lucky. It would have been bad if the storm had gone lower, was a little stronger and came straight in like it was actually heading at first. That would have pushed all the water into the intercoastal and a lot of people's backyards and houses and pools would have gotten flooded. That's what I'm guessing. But today when I checked it, there's not much to show you because the wind's blowing west, it's pushing all the water out, although there's a big swell left over. Um, it just it just didn't have the push to push it in. Now up north of us, different story. If I was in St. Lucie right now and there's uh, beaches in Stewart and north, there's a lot of structural damage um, to houses along the beach, um, intercoastal too. So all right, let me see if I can find any damage around here to show you exactly what happens when we get grazed by a category one and that was only a category one so we got grazed by it we didn't get the north end of the eye so this is all right i'm going to see if there's anything to show y'all all right 
Well, we got a little bit of damage on this trail, some trees down, uh, branches over here. There's a lot of uh, a lot of debris all over the place here, as you can see back in the bushes. We got some pretty heavy beach erosion right along here. As you look, you can see that um, the water line is coming all the way up to the sand dunes. So as you can see right here, um, these swells that are straight out, they're coming right in and hitting right up along this shoreline right here. Look at all this thrashed vegetation. Here comes the water, here it comes. Right up along here, yeah, it's hitting right in the dunes. So this is part of it. We're gonna go and move more north of this area. Um, and the further I go north, there's a lot more damage along the um, sand dunes. So we'll keep looking. Let's look along here. You can see all the vegetation, how far it went up. And uh, waves, waves are pretty bad out here right now. Like I surf, but I wouldn't paddle out on this just because it's disorganized. comes a nice roller that's gonna roll on in. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. Right on up into the dune. So high tide's in about an hour, and we're gonna probably get at some more damage. Look down the beach. Well, this isn't a lake. This is grass, it's around this baseball field. The lake, or the uh, estuary is way out there and it overflowed. It's a prime example of storm surge and what it does all the water is pushing up this is pretty high right around the baseball field all underwater this should be this should, this should be just grass where you normally just walk around this is pretty flooded too um, if you look way out there this is a workout area in jupiter and you can see there's water way off in the distance that is not a lake that's where people walk and work out right in here this is all grass this is all salt water. This, is, this isn't from rain. It's from the estuary that's right over there. And it actually came out and flooded this area. So there's your walking trails right over there. And if you look way off in the distance, you can see a lake out there. That's all salt water that overflowed from the estuary. That's a big prime example of storm surge. Look around. There's a pretty good sized tree knocked down one of these right here. Some debris way over there. There's a little tree damage through here. A lot of debris. Trees down over there. Still kind of windy out. It's really just a, a lot of debris around here. Not major trees knocked over. That one went, got knocked over. Um, so I've been checking most of the parks. They're in pretty good shape. All, just all this trees and branches down. Not too bad. I'm gonna head up to the beach. Uh, there's a lot of debris on the beach. People everywhere. Big waves out there. These waves are huge. Yeah, that's uh, pretty high, high surf out there. Some of the debris they've already picked up right now. There's a lot, there's a guy down there picking up the debris. So, as you can see, it was mainly palm fronds, palm branches, cabbage palm branches, pretty much, but not the tree trunks. As you look around, they're all fine. It's mainly just the storm with storm surge it wasn't super bad, but more than I've seen in a while. And um, there's a bit of a cleanup to be done here. So as you can see, there's debris everywhere. And uh, got a nice guy getting rid of it right there. 
So, yep. Looks like there's a sign blown over here. Check this out. I don't know where it came from, but that must have been some powerful wind to knock this sign down. Look at this thing. Yeah. Well. All right, let's keep cruising. Well, this is pretty much how I'm gonna end it. Um, this was an adventure starting yesterday when the storm was approaching. Uh, we got to see some storm surge, some strong winds, a little bit of branch damage on the trees and uh, some big waves. So this was pretty cool. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, this is, uh, the date is November 10th, 2022. And this is post the day after Hurricane Nicole hit Florida. And like I said, it was 75 mile an hour winds. We got the lower end of the eye, so we didn't get the strong part of the winds. And uh, we did pretty good. I don't see really any power outages around here in Juno and Jupiter. There's probably a few, but everyone seems like they're going about their business. So guess what, everybody? If you like these videos I put out, please subscribe, please like, um, tell your friends, tell everybody. Um, thank you very much, and I will see you all in the next adventure.